I am totally washed out. Maybe if I sit back a little further, really bright in here, obviously, because it's supposed to be bright. My name is Annabelle, and welcome to this video about tiny houses. So basically, as I sit in my very own tiny house, I will tell you why you shouldn't build or purchase a tiny house yourself. The main message I see when I see articles about tiny houses or even people talking about tiny houses. It could be selective hearing, but this is the, the main essence of what I hear. It usually has something to do with, you know, downsizing your life, simplifying, finding a affordable option, as well as finding something that you can travel with, that you, you can that can fulfill that adventurous, spontaneous um, way of life you're looking for. That message is what I feel is being pushed into the world right now. And I kind of want to focus on the traveling aspect of it, the adventure aspect of it. I've made videos on why tiny houses are different than RVs or campers. And tiny houses really are a home. They they really are built just like a home. They are maxed out generally to the height limit that you're allowed without having, you know, those oversized load signs and cars maybe in front and back. They are meant to function more like a house than a camper. And so they're built generally with housing materials. Um, unlike campers, which are often built with much more lightweight, more uh, metal, aluminum type structures. And they don't have to do all the wood framing that typically people do with tiny houses. And so what I'm trying to get at is that these houses are big, heavy, tall, and not easy to move. They do not move easily. My own tiny house has not moved, but my brother and his wife, Melissa, built a tiny house right around the same time as I did, and they've moved their house three times, and I can tell you from witnessing all three of them, I believe, that it is not a fun process to go through. It is nerve-wracking, it's stressful, it's just not fun. I mean, can you imagine, you know, boxing up all your belongings inside a tiny house and then towing it to a truck? I mean, just the whole vision makes me nervous for when I'm, I'm going to move my own tiny house. <clears throat> so why do I think you should not build a tiny house? Well, there's a number of reasons, but to start with, because they are so heavy, you need a special truck to pull the tiny house. So I would need the equivalent of an F2, a Ford F250. Um, for those of you who understand that, awesome, I really don't, but that's a measurement I've been told. I would need a truck that could pull at least 7,000 pounds. I probably would feel more comfortable with the truck that could pull 10,000 pounds. And you gotta be good with, you know, you're towing your house. Do you know how to drive with a trailer, a tiny house in back? Another thing, these trucks are not cheap. You could get a used truck and it would be definitely more affordable and a better option, but a, a brand new truck, I'm not even sure what they go for it. Probably at least 30,000, I would guess. That's definitely not really realistic for people who want to travel around the US and go exploring and use this as their means of living. And the other thing is that you're putting a lot of wear and tear on the truck, you know. While they can tow this much, it's definitely not something that, you know, a truck should be doing every single day. And maybe it wouldn't be, you know, maybe you're the type of traveler who wants to travel you know three times a year and move your tiny house three times and then I would consider maybe it's still an option for you but if you're looking to move I would say 
once a month or even more than that, I really don't think this option is great. There are so many other options though that would be super great and perfect for you. An RV, building a smaller camper that could be pulled by a normal sized car. Those are both perfectly great options that still would give you the lifestyle that you're looking for. And I know personally from talking with three different people along with my brother and his wife that this was the same impression they had. They felt that this could give them the freedom to you know, not be location dependent and yet I think once people build it they kind of realize that it kind of is pretty pretty location dependent. I'm building this this small camper, I'm welding it, I'm trying to really keep my weight super low and it'll be able to be towed by a a normal sized car and the reason is because of this house and how big it is and you know I don't have the funds to purchase a big powerful truck that can drive this and nor do I feel comfortable driving this this cross country in the way that I I want to you know explore the US more one last thing I do want to touch on is I would not you know take back any decision I made to build this house it was an, an incredible experience and the lessons I learned while building it were ones that have informed you know future decisions so I definitely don't regret my decision to build this tiny house it kind of launched my whole um, drive to create content to to make videos and share my experience and and what I'm up to. I think I've stressed the point enough and if you guys have questions feel free to email me it's in the description box below. I also want to take this time to point you guys over to my website also linked below livinglifefruitfully.com I've got a ton of resources on there and more going on. I just released two free PDFs one on forest bathing, forest therapy, and you can go ahead and download that for free, and as well as one on journaling. I'm super into journaling and I try to promote it as much as possible because I think, you know, for me, journaling has been an amazing outlet for me to just kind of, you know, download what's in here as well as just kind of figure out where I want to go and definitely just a free space to write whatever I want to draw you know some people of you maybe are more creative and don't like writing so you know take the take time to draw to represent whatever um, is going on for you at this moment and maybe where you want to go there's a free PDF about journaling with a whole bunch of questions as well as um, a list exercise so you can check that out it'll all be linked below that's all I'm gonna share in this video feel free to check out my tiny house build also linked below and I will see you in another video I hope you're having an amazing day bye this is a preview file